Another speaker interview now at the NALS conference 2013 and I'm joined by industry commentator Kate Faulkner. So welcome Kate. Thank you. How important do you think it is for um, business owners and you know lettings agents to take a, t a day out of their busy workaday world and come to an event such as the NALS conference? It's absolutely hugely important. One of the issues that we have with our industry is that it tends to be too short-term focused mm -hmm. um, and when I'm talking about that even three some will only worry about the next three months and during a difficult time that we've had financially of course that's understandable but that's not a way to run a business long term you've got to be looking at least a year in advance and really you need to be looking five years ahead mm -hmm. and it's days like today that help you do that now it's a very natural fit for you to be here because I've heard you speak many times and you always advocate that tenants and landlords let through an accredited agent such as NALS. You're a big supporter of the scheme, aren't you? Huge supporter, and I do not understand why uh, the newspapers and the media, when you speak to most of them, and I speak to quite a lot, they've never heard of the schemes mm -hmm. um, at all. And it's really important that every opportunity that's given, um, we manage to raise the, raise the importance, because it, particularly because it's voluntary at the moment. Mm -hmm. These are the really, really good guys, because yes. otherwise they wouldn't have bothered to join. So from a consumer, it's simple. You are mad if you do not go with an or now's agent for the simple reason you don't get client money protection. Absolutely. Such an important message for consumers. Huge. Now, you were talking about future trends in the market. Yes. Um, can you just really summarise your presentation in a few words? Uh, of course, <laughs> is yes. the outlook bright? <laughs> the outlook is really bright because there is no doubt in my mind that the, ten, uh, the rental sector is not just here to stay, mm -hmm. but I think there's huge opportunities for innovation for letting agents. Mm -hmm. So the market will definitely grow. Whether rents will grow with inflation is a bit of a question mark. They mm -hmm. definitely have been well behind over the last... 10 years mm -hmm. and we're also coming up to kind of like 15 year birthday of buy to let mm -hmm. which is the typical time investors will invest in buy to let mm -hmm. so um, the letting agents have really got to work out are there buy to let investors going to stay in this market mm -hmm. and are the accidental landlords that came through who couldn't sell going to stay mm -hmm. so firstly watch your customers um, mm -hmm. and know your customers to make sure that you understand what their long-term plans are because that mm -hmm. will affect your business mm -hmm. um, and I think the other thing is that um, institutional investors are coming. Mm -hmm. The government is backing it big time. It's absolutely the right thing to do, but they don't consider letting agents as the people to let out their properties. Mm. Again, I think that's nuts. Uh, and I really think agents have got to get together under the likes of NALS to discuss actually how you can promote letting agents to institutional investors. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And just to finish, Kate, obviously there is a lot of talk of reg regulation. Mm -hmm. Things are in the pipeline heading towards agents. Um, what's your view on the kind of challenges ahead of um, agents? Well, I actually think the challenge is for the unregulated agents. Mm -hmm. I think the regulated agents should be having an absolute ball at the moment. Mm -hmm. If I were them, I would be going to every landlord viewing and every uh, tenant viewing mm -hmm. and saying, this regulation is coming. We've been doing it for years mm -hmm. and we're a good agent. Please really think about whether you want to be with an unregulated agent mm -hmm. that is going to have to go through a, a complete change in the way they run their mm -hmm. business in less than six months time. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a massive opportunity for agents who belong to NALS mm -hmm. to hugely promote what they do and to get rid of the competition. Fantastic, great point to end on, to say if you are a NALS agent, let people know, let the consumer know, Absolutely. and really be proud of that, yeah. that you're a licensed firm. Very much so. Fantastic, well thank you so much for joining Pleasure. us here at the NALS conference 2013, really enjoyed your speech. Thank you very much to Kate Faulkner. Thank you.